Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're taking a look at the ancestor to modern elephants, the Pheomia, discovered by two British scientists, Charles Andrews and Hugh Beadnell. Charles Andrews was a British paleontologist working for the British Museum. In 1900 his health began to fail. In the cold, wet British winter his health became worse. He wanted to stay and work in his office at the British Museum of Natural History in London but the labs were particularly damp and uncomfortable. The doctors demanded he spent his winters in some warmer, drier climate or his health would fail completely. He decided he would go to Egypt and collect some of the mammals living there for the museum. So in April of 1901, Andrew sailed to Alexandria. When he arrived, he found plenty of mammals to trap or shoot for the collections. But something else caught his attention. Just a few years before, the British geologist Hugh Beadnell had been mapping the rocks at a barren rocky area called the Fayum Depression in the Sahara Desert 70 miles southwest of Cairo. In the process he had come across abundant mammal bones lying there on the desert floor, exposed by the howling winds. In just three weeks, Beadnell and Andrews made major collections of extinct mammals, finding many large skulls, vertebrae, ribs and teeth. As Andrews collected, it became apparent that most of the fossils he found were unlike anything ever seen before. At this time, Africa was mostly unknown. Explorers were roaming the continent, describing new animals and peoples, or trying to discover the source of the Nile. The fossils from the Fayum were the first window into the ancient history of Africa. As Andrews and Abedna went back each winter, they enlarged their collections. By the time they had finished in 1904, there were crates containing tons of fossil bones jamming the basement of the British Museum and the Egyptian Museum, waiting to be studied. Andrews had gone to Egypt for a rest, but came back with so much new material that his life's work was completely changed. Today he is best known for his descriptions of these bizarre beasts found in Egypt. And one of those bizarre beasts was the Pheomia. Named in 1902, its name means saw-toothed animal of the Fayum. The Fiomia is a primitive proboscid and lived around 37 to 30 million years ago during the late Eocene to the early Oligocene. The Fiomia stood about 1.4 to 2.4 meters tall. It could approach the size of a modern elephant, but it was usually much smaller. It had a similar appearance to modern elephants, but based on the shape of its nasal bones, it only had a short trunk. It had two short tusks on the upper jaw and two tusks on the lower jaw. These lower jaw tusks were flattened into a shovel-like shape. Originally, it was believed that it would have used these shovel-like tusks to dig up roots and vegetation, but it is now believed that they were used to strip the bark from the trees. Well, that's all I have for you this week. As always, I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. And I hope you'll come back next time here at Shredder Zoo when we'll be looking at one of the most famous dinosaurs of all, the Tyrannosaurus. So until next time, goodbye.